Mina san, Hirito desu, and welcome back to another video. Now, today we're gonna be discussing about Attack on Titan episode 10 from season 4. Now, well, finally, another, more questions have been answered from the time skip. We've seen a lot of stuff going on. Uh, more stuff about uh, the the spies and, you know, the the Marleyan traders kind of, that came to help out uh, Party's Island, you know, Nicolo and... Was he Yelena or whatever? Then, there's another nation that now wants to team up with Party's Island or wanted to team up but basically they wanted to team up just because of uh, the natural resources but now you know more questions have been answered like some stuff about the Ackerman family um, stuff about Historia stuff about Zeke's plan uh, Aaron and other stuff like that well first of all now we know th there's something about Mikasa that Mikasa is actually from like her roots you know her ancestry they're from her ancestors are from uh, uh, those uh, from the country that came to uh, ally themselves to Paradise Island which is kind of crazy you know because she had that mark on her hand and you know it's crazy and um, so now uh, the question is uh, so Mikasa is supposed to be like the ruler of that country or what because like she's a uh, she's basically a descendant of the one of the nobles was it noble or king or whatever or prince so we, she's like a descendant and by having that mark is she like supposed to be like the new queen or like the new ruler of that country or something like that and then my question rises again then what about levi because levi is also an ackerman and is there like some sort of backstory to his ancestors because i know like since he's an ackerman as well then he's also supposed to be part of you know the same mikasa's lineage or whatever it's supposed to be like some sort of cousin or something but uh, anyway that's one thing and the other stuff was uh historia historia is pregnant okay she's pregnant right now and um basically she's supposed to eat up zeke if i'm not mistaken she's supposed to eat up zeke so that she gets the beast titan but um you know they're not really looking they're just looking at improving their military power and strength because they don't they don't technically want to use the rumbling or stuff like that but that's not the issue they're not looking at historia herself as a person they're just putting all the burden on her and that's something that really piss, pisses me off and also pissed off Eren. you know Eren actually spoke up in that meeting that no they're not gonna do this to historia and it actually like seeing historia just basically lose her smile is really showing you how like the path that uh, attack on titan decided to uh, decided to go like from now on we just know that there's not such thing as a happy ending we not just from what isama said bro you just see it now with the way the things are in the anime of course erin only has like two or, like three years to live or something like that two or three years to live um so of course um he's gonna die soon either like with the way things are uh, one of my theory is with uh, the ending of Attack on Titan is that the Titan powers are gonna disappear with Eren's death. That's that's the thing. I'm I'm sure that Eren will die in the end, and I'm sure that by him dying, the Titan powers will disappear with him, right? Be and um, that's the thing because by telling us that Eren only has like two, two three years to live, I'm sure that he's gonna get all the other Titan powers and stuff like that, and. Uh, of course, he's not the only one that has two, three years to live. I mean, there's Armin. Of course, Armin, I don't think he has only three years. Because Eren got his powers before Armin. Like, uh, maybe like a year or two before Armin. And then uh, there's... Okay, Rhyna will die soon. Uh, Peak will die soon. Uh, the Jaw Titan will die soon. Uh, who else? The Beast Titan will die soon. Of course, everyone that has Titan powers are gonna die very, very soon. Maybe... Oh, of course, Annie will die soon, but like I think the one that will be that will be dying last will be Armin, based on the fact that they have the Titan powers. But that's not the thing. The thing is now, who is Eren? If Eren doesn't, if um, if the Titan powers will not disappear, then who will Eren pass his Titan powers down to? He said it, of course, that he's not gonna give it to any of the, their friends. Uh, any of his friends because he doesn't want to burden them with that and because he cares about them Which shows that Eren still has a heart. Eren still cares about them. Now Here's one thing what I want um, that I want to say about what Connie He said in that meeting basically was in the same room with Mikasa, Armin and uh, Jan. They were talking about Eren, you know when Eren was in jail uh, You know his present times. Now the thing is Eren um, 
yeah, when Sasha died, when you heard that Sasha died, Aaron started laughing and stuff. And but then, I don't know, uh, Connie. You know when Connie said, "Okay, do you know what that bastard did?" When uh, he, he heard that Sasha died, he laughed. He laughed. Yeah, yes, he laughed. But the reason why he laughed, um, basically, I, I don't know. For me, in my opinion, anyway, he didn't laugh at the fact. Okay, yeah, Sasha died. Ah, uh, no. Basically, he laughed at what she said at the end. You know, uh, uh, her last uh, last word was like potato. Or uh, uh, no, sorry, it was not potato. Sorry, my bad. It was meat. You know, it laughed, it kind of like reminiscing or something like that because it kind of showed like a flashback in his mind or something like like that. He thought back to when uh, Sasha brought that meat when they were on top of the walls when the uh, when the colossal titan attacked Frost. He just laughed at that, but because after afterwards, if you look closely at Aaron, he basically started started clenching his teeth, like he was angry after he after that laugh. He was angry. So my my thing is, how the how the hell did you not see him clench his teeth afterwards? How did you not see him get angry afterwards? Cause like, bruh, I'm sure everyone would have seen that. Because even if Aaron was like saying like this, yeah, he was. He was saying like this or something like that. Yeah, he was laughing. Him. The fact is, you saw him laugh. Then how the hell didn't you see him, like, when you see get angry or piss off? Seriously, uh, or like uh, Connie already got to the point that we're like, uh, uh, where if it comes to the worst, then we're gonna have to kill, uh, kill off uh, Aaron. So it's actually getting to that, and. It, Possibly foreshadows what is gonna happen in the near future. I don't want him to kill Aaron. Seriously, I don't want him to kill him. At least, okay, I want him. If it's if it if he needs to die, then I need him to die like uh, on a, with a noble cause or something like that. Personally speaking, I think that Aaron has a noble cause for what he wants to do. Because yeah, I mean, come on, this is war. What he did, okay, yeah, he there was some collateral damages, you know, with the civilians and the kids and whatever when they died, but. Bruh, you don't expect, like, you guys, when when they attacked Faraday's Island, they did the exact same thing. They killed every small for crying out loud. Yeah? And don't tell me that no, it's not the Titan that killed him. No, the fact is, they wanted to let Titans enter the, uh, the city. So by letting the Titans enter the city, yeah, Titans would kill a lot of people. That's what they wanted. That's what they wanted. So... Don't come to me and start bitching about, uh, oh my god, look what Aaron did. He killed a lot of kids. It's a will. Aaron is the worst. Aaron is this. Aaron. No come and bitch out to me like that. They did the exact same thing. In fact, they did even worse. Because Aaron mainly aimed for the soldiers and the higher-ups. But those guys aimed for everyone. Just because, like, some rocks killed some, uh, like, some civilians and stuff, it, it isn't really Aaron's fault. It's like debris. Come on. Seriously, but anyway, um, I don't know what's gonna like. Okay, then at the end, at the end of the episode, uh, you know when they're like, at the end of the episode, they showed uh, Levi is in the forest with Zeke. Now, that particular part kind of reminds me of what I've seen in the trailer of uh, season four, bros. Um, if you remember, Levi was in a forest surrounded by titans that he had to kill. And from what I've heard, those titans, spoiler alert for those that don't know, but uh, anyway, uh, I think it was from the manga, what I've heard is that those titans that uh, um, Levi was killing inside the forest are actually the soldiers that were there with him. So, Zeke was also there with him, so I have no idea, was it Zeke that turned him into titans because I know he has the power or something else? We don't know. And I, I, I don't want to ask manga readers because I don't want to know. I just want to know, uh, like, I'm just going to see it from the next episode. But anyway, what do you guys think? What do you guys think is going to happen? What do you guys think about this episode? Just comment down below with your thoughts. Well, that's been all for me with this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I, know, I hope you guys enjoy, are enjoying Attack on Titan. Stay tuned for the next episode of AOT next uh, on Sunday. And stay tuned for my next review and discussion video on that episode. Until next time, lads, I've been Hirito, and I'll see you all in the next video. Johnny!